Hello, Bobcats, and welcome to our first official episode of the third season of The Sage. I'm Madison Gerlitz. And I'm Chris Kathman. It's the third week of school, and so much is already happening. We have an inside look on the upcoming PAC Gala. We get to meet some of our new faces here on campus. And so much more, so let's get into it. This past Friday, ASB brought back the annual Back to School Dance. This dance came in place of last year's Grill and Chill and was the first social event of the year for all students. The night was filled with Cabo decorations, quality music, and snacks to fuel the dancing. The next event put on by ASB will be the Staff vs. Students Flag Football Game October 5th. Look out for more information on that in the next couple weeks. This year, Sage Creek has some new faces on campus that you might not recognize. We sent reporters Emily Anderson and Isabella Eiler out to meet some of our new staff members. Hi, I'm Emily Anderson. And I'm Bella Eiler. And we're here doing Man on the Street, New, new Staff, Staff Edition. Edition. Get ready to know some faces from new places. <laughs> I'm here with our new full-time SRO officer, Cam Valentine. What is your daily life like on campus? On campus, it's a, it's a good daily life. What I do is I walk around the campus and ensure uh, safety is being met. I um, also do some educational things. Uh, later in the school year, I'll probably be talking to everybody about um, things like vapes, because we want to steer people clear from those. And I also do exterior patrols of the school. When you eat cereal, Mr. Hill, do you put the milk in before or after the cereal? I like to put uh, the milk in after I add my cereal, but uh, I like to uh, add fruit as well. Awesome. What's your favorite animal? Ooh. I would say I like wolves, have the pack mentality, they all take care of each other, um, family oriented. I've always been a big fan of like forest animals, so like I, I love uh, wolves. I think second place would have to be the owl, have that regal animal, so yeah. What are you most excited about for this upcoming school year? Um, I'm excited to get to know more students here at Sage Creek and to share my love of math with everyone. I'm just acclimating to everything here. Sage Creek has been an amazing community and I'm so excited to work with not just my freshman kids but my ASB kids who are on fire trying to get things going for the school year. What is your favorite dessert? Favorite dessert? I was going to say none but I thought about it and I think uh, peach cobbler. Good choice. Thank you. Those are some really interesting new faces on campus. Make sure when you see them around to give them a warm Sage Creek welcome. This has been Bella Eiler and Emily Anderson reporting for the Sage. Now, now back, back to, to the, the anchors. anchors. We'd like to welcome all of our new staff members to the Bobcat family. In other news, fall sports have been in full swing. Let's hand it off to Bryant Kittison who has all you need to know about the past and upcoming games. Hey Bobcats, I'm Brian Kids with Sports Announcements. Let's get right to it. Girls Volleyball won their match against Helix three sets to zero. Their next home match is today against Mission Hills at five o'clock. Boys Beach Volleyball took a win last Thursday versus Poway. They'll be playing Carlsbad this Thursday at Offshore Beach. Over the weekend, Cross Country participated in the Bronco Invite, where Boys Varsity plays fifth and Girls JV plays second. Field Hockey became victorious Monday in their match against El Cajon Valley four to zero with a hat trick by Taylor Riley. Girls Tennis scratched a victory yesterday. They'll be playing at 3 o'clock at home versus El Camino Thursday for anyone who wants to come out. This Friday will be the PAC's grand opening gala. Festivities start at 7 p.m. Purchase your ticket at thesagecreekfoundation.org. Saturday will be Star 94.1's Heart with Gratitude. Come out and show your appreciation towards our servicemen and women by gathering into a large heart on top of the USS Midway. To check out, to check out more, visit Star 941's website. Next Monday will be the first meeting for Allison Del Grande's Genius Project, the Comedy Sports Club. Stop by room 2304 during lunch to learn more about their future competition and matches. For updates on Bobcat Athletic, follow the Sage Sports on Instagram. This has been Brian Kinson with Sports Announcements. Let's send it back to the anchors. Thanks, Brian. For those of you that were here in the previous years, you know just how long it took to complete the Performing Arts Center. To celebrate the grand opening, seniors Lexi Petty and Allison Del Grande will be hosting a gala. Here's Madison Young and Tristan Hoffman with more information. 
Hello Bobcats, it's Madison Young reporting for The Sage with senior Lexi Petty and we're going to be talking about the gala today. So Lexi, what exactly is the gala? So the Sage Creek Gala is in lieu of all VAPA fall fundraisers that normally happen and since we just opened our new performing arts center, we're holding this fundraiser to showcase all of our amazing talents from our visual and performing arts programs. Awesome, so how do students purchase tickets? Students can purchase tickets by going to any of our VAPA teachers during lunch. And how much are tickets? We have two shows on Friday, so there's a student show and tickets are $5, and there's also an evening show where regular tickets are $20 and VIP are $40. Awesome, so what is your role in hosting the gala? Um, I am the vice president of Drama Club, so I am hosting the gala along with president of Drama Club, Alison Del Grande. That's wonderful, and why do you think students should get involved? I think students should get involved because our arts programs work really hard here at SAGE and this is a fun way to get involved and see what we've been working on all year. Awesome. I hope to see you all there, Bobcats. This has been Madison Young reporting for the SAGE. Now back to the anchors. Remember, the event is happening this Friday and tickets are being sold for $5. Well, that's all for this week, Bobbies. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at the Sage Publication and our new sports Instagram at the Sage Sports. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next week. This has been Madison Gerlitz and Gris Catherine reporting for The Sage.